Mayor de Blasio is reviewing a plan from the moped sharing company Revel to make a return to city streets. The controversial service was suspended last month after three people died in crashes, including our CBS2 reporter Nina Kapoor. CBS2's Lisa Rosner is live on the west side with more. Lisa. Well, Dana, one councilman tells me that Revel hopes to return to the city in a few weeks, possibly even by the end of the month. This comes as the company has announced changes in other cities, but some question, will those work here? Running red lights, driving on the sidewalk, and going the wrong way. Ride-sharing moped company Revel admitted months of lawless behavior led it to suspend nearly 2,000 riders this summer. Then in July, it suspended its entire New York City service following three separate fatal incidents, including our colleague, 26-year-old Nina Kapoor, and 32-year-old Jeremy Malave of Brooklyn. The NYPD said 2.5% of all motorcycle accidents this year were on Revels. In most accidents documented by cops in St. Barnabas Hospital, helmets were not worn and users did not know how to operate the vehicle. But it was just getting to the point where I was feeling very uncomfortable riding them. Last month, Bruce Keynes of Washington Heights stopped using Revel and got his own moped after finding too many vehicles were damaged and the company was not fixing them. I'm really sorry for the loss of life of those people who unfortunately believe that Revel was looking up for their safety. But Brooklyn Councilman Antonio Reynoso says the alternative transportation should return now, saying new safety measures that are currently being reviewed by the de Blasio administration are sufficient. Ultimately, it's about education of the rider. He says Revel wants to require New York users to share a selfie with the helmet on before the vehicle can start. It will also mandate users watch a 20-minute mandatory in-app training video followed by a test. Reynoso says the company is also looking at data to be able to more closely monitor user behavior. Ensuring that folks are not going down the wrong way, on a one way, and hold those users accountable. Currently, only a driver's license is required to operate the 30 mile per hour moped, considered by New York State to be a Class B motorcycle. Attorney Daniel Flanzig, who now represents 10 clients suing Revel, says it's a good start depending on the contents of the test. I hope it has to deal with both the rules of the road and operational issues of using the bike. Do you have an understanding of the brakes? Do you have an understanding of the acceleration? So the only way we're going to know whether or not this new rollout is going to work is unfortunately going to be by trips to the hospital. A REVEL spokesperson would only tell us that it is finalizing the measures. Now, the city does have the power to regulate the company, and tomorrow one lawmaker is introducing legislation that will require more oversight. On the West Side, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Lisa, thank you.